All right, guys. Double R Rem here. So, what's going on? This is what I'm doing today. I, so, I recently, you know, I just did my um, coolant change. Let's just admire that beauty while we while we at it. Yeah, so I just did my coolant change over the weekend. You know, that was nice and fun. <laughs> Psych. But um, yeah, it took me a while, only because you know I wanted to take my time and um drain all the coolant out properly then refill it with distilled water until you know it's pretty clear and just water's coming out the radiator then fill it back up but you know took my time and did that but and then i also installed these leds uh mirrors these things is nice i'm going to show you guys a night pick um well a night clip or i could just close my garage door and show you but here is a uh so it's like it's very sunny outside right shout out to my shadow I see you over there boy but so um check this out let me put it on the tripod and show you guys how bright this thing is even in the daytime Okay, now like I said, the sun is beaming right at it, but See the other side? Now just wait till I close the garage and show you guys this later on You'll see how bright that is Now let's take this off the tripod again Okay, so I got this mod that I always wanted. <laughs> well, I should say that I knew I was gonna get from day one, right? Now, if you notice here, right? We have a fuel gauge, we have a neutral to let you know you're in neutral, and then you know your basics. But there's no gear indicator on here. There's no, there's no um, indicator letting you know what gear you're in. So, what we got, bam, gear indicator, huh? So I got this one in red. So when it lights up, it will be red. Uh, you guys probably can't see that, but yeah. Now this is pretty easy to install, right? You just plug this one down there by the battery area, 3M tape, route it wherever you want to route it, and just sit it right up there. So again, like I said, I was doing work over the weekend, so my seat is already loose. So we're just gonna take that off. Okay, now this, mail in plugs in right here all right and then we just gonna loosen this up uh loosen that up pop this a little bit forward and then i'm just gonna route it straight back that way all right so let's get working okay that's a better view so there's a clip Right there, pretty hard. And then, okay. Now, the bike is still off, right? So you just take this one, oh, this one, and you plug it right in there. Now this is pretty much foolproof, so <laughs> you can't screw this up. Okay. Now we got all this all this cable to route it. Now let me switch sides again so you guys can see what I'm doing. One second. Okay, so now I'm just gonna route it the same way I told you guys, under there, smooth up and right in there. So when that's finished, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what I did. Here it is, right? So I guess I'll show you from this view. So pretty much ran it here, 
under the favoring, raise that up, send it, send it. I'm just gonna tuck that in on the final project. Run that straight through, straight through. And then down here, you see this loom right here? There's an opening like, there's an opening like right here. So I just fished it through there, send it through the triple three right here. I'm sorry, the forks right here. And then came out on the next side, which is right here. And I'm just gonna stick it with the 3M tape. Man, this sun is crazy. I'm just gonna stick it right there on the flat surface. All right, so, um, and hold on, hold on. About right there seems about fine. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, I mounted it right there. Okay, you guys could see it. Now, according to the instructions, right? Um, it states when the ignition is turned on, the display count backwards from six to one. So that gauge, sh that indicator should count down from six to one, indicating that the memory is cleared. So let's see. Okay, six to one. So they're saying it's clear, right? Now let's see what else it says. Now it says to raise the uh, raise the bike, put the back wheels in the air. But I, I already have the you know the bike in in the air, and it says to start the engine in neutral. All right. After you start the engine in neutral, that L is going to turn to a one, which is letting to, letting you know go into first gear right and you got to keep your rpm a little bit above idle once it gets um once it blink from number one then it goes to number two switch into second gear all the way until you get up to six gear right and then once it reaches zero that means it's over and the process is complete so i'm gonna keep it here so you guys could see it like that oh. like, right now let me go ahead and start the bike it's in neutral well, let me get a good position and hold on. Okay, now you guys just saw that, right? 
Let me open my garage a little bit more to get some air in here. Don't want to suffocate. Right, so um, as I was just saying, I had to catch an air real quick, but you saw it was blinking from one. Uh, we we uh, clutched it, sh shift gears when it got up to two. As it keep blinking, it stopped blinking. That's to let you know go up to three. Went all the way up to six. When it stopped blinking in six gear, that's to let you know it's programmed, right? So now you remember when we first turned it on, it counted downwards from six to one. Now when I turn it on, it should count up from one to six. So let's see. Huh? All right. And that's letting you know you're in neutral. So it works. And um, that's pretty much how you install uh, a gear indicator on your Honda CBR double R. <laughs> Shout out to Psycho Cruiser because that's how he say it. But yeah, that's how you install it. And again, have it on the um, have the bike on the rear um, stand. Now the instruction does say if you don't have a stand, you could do it while riding the bike. So just take the bike out for a ride and follow all the same steps. Now it does read off of the ECU, so. Um, you know you're always in the correct gear, okay? Oh, let me show you guys how the uh, gear indicator looks. Not, I'm so sh the mirrors, how they look in the dark, okay? So I'm gonna close my garage and give you guys a preview of that. Ready for this? Yes, you are. Damn. Woo. See them things? Imagine outside, but you know, I got the light directly beaming back, but in the in the nighttime, them things is bright. Huh? Let's look at the, the uh, right side. Well, the left side. And it's in sync with my flush mount. So now you could definitely see me coming. And another cool thing with these mirrors, check this out. Ah, got the little blue one from there too. Just in case, you know, someone is behind me. They could be like, hey, what's that, what's that uh, blue light blinking? Oh, okay, well, just in case you can't see these big bright yellow indicators, you can see that blue one right there also blinking. But yeah, that, that is fresh, loving it. All right, so let's get, get some air in here. Hold on one second. All right, as always, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, you know, if you're loving the bike, because I'm loving the bike, go ahead and subscribe. I'll have more content coming. Man, probably have about, I don't know, maybe a week left of the nice weather, right? Maybe a week left of, of um, this nice weather, maybe a week or two, and you know, Gotta park the bike up for the winter. I mean, I don't plan on riding in the winter, but we shall see, you know? And I'm gonna make a few vlogs while riding, give you guys my impression, you know? So until then, let's finish how we started, right in the grill. Double RM, over and out, vroom vroom, peace.